I was born January 6, 1926 in Krakow, Poland. Ed Mossberg describes life as a young boy as normal, happy, and filled with love. That all changed when Germany invaded Poland on September 1st, 1939, the start of World War II. I had a, my parents, I had a two sisters, and all of them were murdered by the Germans in a concentration camp. Approximately three million Polish Jews were murdered, which was about 90 percent of the country's pre-war Jewish population. The horrific images of the Holocaust will forever be etched into Ed's mind and nightmares. He describes the brutal actions he witnessed by the SS, which was one of Hitler's most ruthless units of Nazi soldiers. The SS could rip the child out of the mother's arms and grab the child by the foot and hit the head against a concrete wall, killing the child instantly. With immense luck on his side and oftentimes quick wit, Ed miraculously survived a Nazi ghetto and multiple concentration camps. One of those camps was called Plashov, which was highlighted in Steven Spielberg's Academy Award winning film Schindler's List. This was the beginning of Amon Get. Amon Get was the commandant of Plashov. He was a merciless killer who took pleasure in shooting Jewish prisoners at random from his balcony. Ed came face to face with Get every day he was imprisoned there. I started working in his office to cleaning it up, assorting the thing. And any time he walked in, you know, you never know who would be dead or not. In present day, Ed lives in Morris Plains, New Jersey, and is blessed with a beautiful family. Three daughters, six grandkids, and four great-grandkids. His wife of 72 years, Cecile, who he first met in Poland in 1942, passed away in 2020. But she is forever by his side, this locket with her photo always close to his heart. She was, I think, 15. When Ed isn't speaking lovingly about his late wife, he's often speaking publicly about his painful past. He's known among the survivor community for his outspoken remarks. He's often in public wearing this authentic Nazi prisoner uniform as a way to stand out and leave a strong impression on all those who hear his story. Ed and I were both in Poland in April of 2018, participating in an event called March of the Living. On that day, I captured this video of Ed in uniform on stage in the Auschwitz concentration camp, telling his tale to thousands of people from across the globe. He continues to find the strength to speak out, even though it brings back different, unimaginable memories every time. In the stone mines, I was carrying a boulders on my shoulders from early in the morning to late in the evening, carrying, going up and down, up and down. Ed has returned to Poland dozens of times over the years, and even in 1946 to witness Amon Get on trial for the Nazi war crimes he committed. Not only does Ed still have this camera that he brought on that trip, but he developed and saved these photos that he captured of Get. Ed has also managed to collect a trove of original war documents and artifacts. And so somebody playing using this. He just turned 96 and has no plans of slowing down his mission, which is to keep the memories alive. This is a must that I have to talk about it because if I don't talk about it, no one would know. And this is my duty and obligation. As long as I live, I will be talking about it. And we will be listening. In Morris Plains, New Jersey, Dana Arshin, Fox 5 News.